Okay, this video's got a lot packed in five minutes. We're gonna use 11 labs to make AI voices, and we're gonna use DID to make characters to use those voices. So first of all, what is 11labs.io and DID.com? Benefits of those uh, 11 labs and DID, designing characters with AI, and then uses for your classroom. So let's take a look first of all. 11 Lab wants to help you build voices if you want to storytell in part of your curriculum and instruction, or maybe uh, you have some other ideas that we'll talk about towards the end. DID will generate any kind of character or it will animate any character that you upload uh, to it as well. So this is also fun for your students. This is a text to voice. 11 Labs is text to voice. So you type in or input a script and it will then produce a voice recording. So I'm working on a project currently for work, so I'm gonna jump right into 11labs.io. It's easy to make an account. You can also pay for services. It's like $8 a month and it offers just an absolute ton of stuff. Um, so beginning here with their voice library, they've got a ton of voices in here already that you can pick from. You can identify by different demographics, um, gender, age, accent, um, you can also pick on what's popular, how many people have used this, how many uh, characters have used this voice as well. Uh, so you can also clone your own voice or you can upload voices as well and then it will synthesize and, and create a voice based off of a recording that you upload. And all you have to do then is select who is your, your voice and you can also modify if you'd like a little bit. They have some tweaking that you can do but generally the, the defaults uh, are very very good then you type in your text down at the bottom you're going to know how many characters you're allowed to use and how many uh, you have used thus far uh, with your paid subscription you get a certain amount of characters to use every month i have built entire um, ai generated videos uh, and uploaded those to a youtube channel for children and so far I have, i've only used maybe a third to a half of what i'm allotted so I'm logged in here next to DID, D-ID.io. And this one is gonna be the animation software. So it takes faces and it animates them to a speaking voice or an audio file. And so this is just, I've sped this video up. What this is, is this is their tutorial demonstrating what it does. They've come a long way since then even. Uh, this is a couple of minutes long if you wanted to watch that video. But since then, they've now made it so that you can generate images based off of some descriptions that you provide. Or I actually use Midjourney to create images. That's another uh, software app that I talk about in the channel. But you can use Midjourney, create a face that you want, and then that becomes the avatar that does the speaking for you. And all you do is you select your avatar, and then you would uh, head on over and begin typing in your prompt and then you would select the voice that you want and they are sorted by uh, gender. And so when you were clicking or if you would click on one of the voices that they offer, some of them are paid, some of them are free. Again, um, I'm just gonna show you kind of the bare minimum in this beginning part here, the free tutorial. And then I'm gonna show you what the paid version looks like uh, because I'm, I'm already working on a project so we might as well uh, double dip here. And so after I go ahead and log in, I'm going to use my character of Dorothy Zbornak or B. Arthur, and I'm going to use the voice of B. Arthur. And you're going to see that in just a second. And then I'm actually uploading the voice file that we just created over on 11 labs. When I upload that voice file, it's going to then sync and generate a video. Oh, wow. Look at all of these people. You know, I haven't seen this many people gathered at the same place since Blanche's fan club met down at the Rusty Anchor. Blanche isn't here today, and I know you're not here to see me, so. That video runs for about 45 seconds, but you get the gist. If you found that helpful, I'm gonna ask you to connect with me so that I can also learn from you. You can share some ideas with me. In conclusion here, ChatGPT can write a script for you or your students if you'd like. Midjourney can create the images of individual characters, or you can also just use DID as well. They can generate some characters for you and they have some uh, already created. 11labs.io will create the voice file and then DID will animate. Uh, your your character so if you found this helpful please follow the channel but more importantly leave a comment for how you might use this in your classroom so we can continue to learn from each other thanks for watching